It's uh, another fight week here at the Apex. Just curious how you're feeling heading into this one. Um, you know, uh, l last year wasn't my year, but uh, I feel like I've done a lot of good things outside of the gym and in the gym that uh, is going to lead me to a, a good performance Saturday. So I'm excited. When you say that, what sort of things have you been doing outside the cage? I'm curious. Um, just seeing um, some, uh, some people for my health. You know, and uh, seeing some professionals to help me uh, stay on the, the best possible track when it comes to my career and uh, changing some things in my personal life as well. Cool. I won't go too much into your personal life, but in terms of seeing some people, is that for sports psychologists or is that yeah, just sports yeah. psychologists? Um, uh, it's, man, it's a, it's a laundry list of things. I'm sorry, I you know. No, no. Uh, yeah, but uh, I even I changed a lot of, uh, a lot of my life uh, in order to keep pursuing this dream because I, it really is a, a dream to be here. and. Uh, I do believe that I'm one of the best fighters in the world, so I gotta go out there and show it Saturday. Having made those changes now on fight week, do you feel better for it? Do you feel a difference with it? Yeah, there's def I, I still got a long way to go, but I do feel, I do feel like I'm in the right direction. That's awesome. In terms of fighting itself, how's the improvements been in the gym? Oh, uh, my coaches love it. Like they think they they've noticed it, you know. And uh, I think we've done a good job of kind of going back to what we do best and uh, being uh, the Miguel of old. When you look at this fight, what exactly are you expecting from your opponent? How much do you know about him? How much tape have you watched? And what do you sort of think he's bringing? Uh, I mean, he, again, like uh, Andre is just a, a tough dude. He's going to come forward and he's going he's, he's gonna to try to implement his will. And I know he's a, a tough guy and he's not going to lay down for anybody. So uh, I expect a, 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 an aggressive striker from, uh, from Andre on Saturday. When you know that going in, does that help? Because you could mentally be prepared for, right, right, okay, he's going to come at me and it's going to be a grueling five minutes where we're both have to just going to get into it? Or do you does that almost play on your mind where you're like, oh, God, this is going to suck for a little bit? No, I mean, you know, with any fight, you got to – I feel like when you're in the UFC, it's the, one of the, you know, the highest yeah. talent, le you know, levels in the world. So every fight's a tough fight and – Every fight you got to imagine is going to be grueling. Like it's going to every fight you should go into, even out of the UFC. I mean, my coach uh, Caesar Surya back there. We, you know, he started with me since I was uh, 15. The amateurs. He told me like, hey, don't be, don't pre don't prepare for one round. You prepare for ha three hard rounds, and uh, I think we've always done that. So I'm ready for anything. You know, three hard rounds, uh, quick finish, whatever it is. We're, we're ready to go. Well, cliche question, but do you have a prediction? Me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make a statement. So I'm trying to just be the best version of myself and whatever comes, comes. Best of luck. Thank you, sir. Is there any extra pressure coming in uh, with a couple of losses in the last one or did part of what you've done outside of with the, the mental side of things, has that alleviated any of that? Yeah, it's definitely alleviated. I, I want, got like a lot of help and, uh, you know, again, the, the people that I still do have in my corner have definitely uh, pulled me out of some dark places and, uh, you know, hopefully Saturday I can uh, do everything that I can to walk away with the victory. But I definitely, if, if it wasn't for the guys that are here, like my coaches again, Caesar, um, yeah, I would, I would say there'd be a lot of pressure. But all the help that I've gotten out, uh, outside of the, of the gym and this help that I've, I did get inside the gym has definitely made things a lot better for me. What was it? Were you thinking of making changes beforehand or was it uh... – after that, the, the last loss, or what was the final spot in your head where you decided that changes had to happen now going into that? The definitely that last loss. Like, uh, you know, no disrespect to those guys, but I should have beaten both of them. And uh, I think I'm definitely the better fighter. You know, I just, um, I just couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get the the victory. You know, and um, congratulations to them. But I definitely man, I'm, I'm planning on making a comeback and showing the rest of the welterweight division that uh, Miguel Baez is here. I know a lot of times us on the outside always we're so focused on the physicality side of things, looking to see how well somebody's prepared. Mm -hmm. But the mental side of things is one of the things that we never really get to see. Um, how, in, your, in terms of your mind or in your idea, which is bigger when going into the fight? Is it the, is it the mental preparation or is it the physical preparation? Which is the most important factor going into a fight? So uh, they're both very important, but Without mental preparation, you can't have the physical preparation. And without, with, uh, but you can have the physical preparation. You know, you can be f physically healthy, but if you're not physically, if you're not mentally healthy, how far can I really get you? You know what I mean? Like be being in the, the best mental health can get you, I mean, to, you can, re if you're reaching for the stars, you can get to the moon. You know what I mean? Like, like just, just, just enough with just believing yourself. So I think mental preparation is, Huge, probably 80% of it. Do you think for a, a large portion of your career that you were getting by with mainly just the physicality, do you feel now that 
your mind's in check with what your body is able to do? So um, I feel like a big part of the reason, like, uh, well, in my career was just, yeah, my, my physicality got me to to the show and, you know, getting me to these wins and stuff like that and, you know, having a, a good team. But it also became where my mental, the mental side kind of actually affected me in, the, in, a, in a negative way where, you know, and, that, and that's how powerful it is. Like I just um, started doing the wrong things and uh, I, my mindset was, well, if I do this, 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 and this, and, you know, and I kind of ignored some other things that were uh, as important, if not more important, you know, that uh, it, nothing else mattered, but, you know, the physical part or the, or getting better at this or getting, you know, and then uh, it kind of blinded me to like seeing the full picture and being a, a very well-rounded fighter, a, re a very well-rounded fighter. And uh, I think this time um, I've been, I've taken the right steps in that direction. So when you go in there for this fight, is it, uh, are you hoping to get a, a definitive victory? Are you hoping to get a, a you know, a, a, a stunning victory? Or is it a matter of Regardless of the outcome, if you go in there and with the right mindset and you feel good about your whole overall performance, will that be just as good, or do you want to get that crazy win finish, or does that even matter? I think everybody wants to get the you know the finish. Everybody's looking for to get a crazy. I mean, that, and that's because that's what sells, you know. But to be honest, uh, I have one goal, you know, and uh, I've had this since I was a kid, and uh, that was to become a UFC world champion. So. Um, however it happens Saturday, as long as it's a take a the right step in, in towards my goal, I'm happy with it. Awesome. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. We're good? All right. Thank Go Canes. Appreciate you guys.